hi everyone akaba to my channel how are you all doing i hope you are doing great my name is benedicta but you can call me benny for shut okay it's been a while i did that i'm a Ghanaian vlogger and i am based in accra what i do on my channel i do a lot of things on my channel actually but i mostly do lifestyle so if you're interested to see my journey as a woman, as a mom, as a wife, please don't not go anywhere. Stick and stay subscribed to my channel, okay? And if you're a returning subscriber, I love you so much. Thank you for always coming back to watch my video. Please comment in the comment section. Let me know you're a returning subscriber. You're watching my videos and you know let's chat let's just chat okay and i will love for you new ones to also subscribe and join the family click on the bell click on it so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video every wednesday at 8 p.m okay so do not miss out so if you're already watching this video i know you've already watched my tour at the kotoka international airport if you haven't then please do go and watch that before you watch this okay so that you can understand what i'm talking about okay i also have a playlist so you can go and watch my aviation journey i have put everything together in a playlist so you can go and click on it and watch i'll be also be leaving it up here so that you guys go and watch okay so i know you've already watched the tour if you haven't then like i said before do go and watch it and come and watch this okay so i posted a tour to kotoka international airport and i really actually did not really talk through the video because we had a tour guide and i just wanted you guys to just enjoy the tour with me and so i was like okay let me do another video sitting down to explain or tell you my experience so if you don't want to miss anything that i'm going to tell you or my experience please do not go anywhere sit back relax get some popcorn and i'll see you when you get back i know you told your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way Aquaba. so to begin this video i would like to tell you that i am a Ghanaian student at the itti that is international travel and tourism institute at achimota yeah achimota and i am done with my school i did a three-month course at that place and i'm done and i'm home trying to look for a job okay so that is by the way as an aviation student definitely definitely you have to have a look at where you are going to work well, as a, a student of itti i was supposed we were like like we were supposed to go on a tour at the kotoka international airport but unfortunately for our batch i was batch 91 so you can imagine coronavirus you know COVID came and we could not go to the airport because of restrictions okay so we had to finish school be at home and later we were called that they are going to have a tour at the kotoka international airport so anyone who wants to join should join the recent students and then we all go together okay so actually i have been there before but i I wasn't a vlogger at that time and so when they called or they sent the message to the platform I was like okay this is interesting actually I have nothing doing why don't I go and then I will you know vlog or share my experience with my audience so on receiving the message from my school telling telling us what we are supposed to do Actually, we are told to pay 40 Ghana cities and the time we are supposed to be there and where we are supposed to meet. I was like, okay, yeah, let me go and vlog my experience so I can share with my audience here. On the day of the tour, I got ready. I woke up like 5 o'clock, yeah, 5 o'clock so that I could be traffic. But um, fortunately for me, school had gone on vacation, so there was no traffic, so I could easily you know get there and on reaching there i reached there very very early if you watched my vlog do not really like look at where i'm supposed to park so parking at terminal 3 i knew i had parked at the wrong place if you can watch the video i was like 
have I actually found at the right place? Because my husband told me that's where I'm supposed to be. But I think he didn't really, you know, hear that I was saying Terminal 2. So I went to park there. And knowing that I was at the wrong car park, I had to, you know, drive out. And then I paid 10 cities. Yeah, you pay when you park there. So I paid 10 cities for zero hours. <laughs> yeah, I did pay 10 cities for zero hours. And I left the place to park, go and park at Terminal 2. So parking at Terminal 2, I just got down and I went to the arrival and I saw my colleagues there. They were sitting there and I, I joined them. Even though I was there on time, we had to wait for my other colleagues and that took us like some hours, you know, some hours before we started our tour. So um, we moved from Terminal 2 to Terminal 3 and there was when I realized I could have parked at Terminal 3 and walked all the way to Terminal 2. So after our tour, I can easily walk gently to my the car park and then drive. So you can imagine the stress. Hmm. Okay, so let's move on. We took the elevator to the top and we met our tour guide. I've forgotten her name actually. I'm so sorry. I'm not good with keeping names if I actually I'm not that close to you but I've forgotten her name she you know introduced herself to us and then we we had to start the tour so we went in and then we went into the departure hall and you know she has been I don't know if it's right for me to say a lot of stuff here but I'm trying to you know I'll try and filter some parts okay sorry 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 because I don't know if it's appropriate for me to be saying this because of security reasons so um when we arrived at the departure hall she showed us the flight information and she told us that that's where you're going to read where your destination and the flight or the airline you're going to use and then it shows you the counter you're supposed to be at and then check in we moved from that place I was sad when we did because I wanted to know how they asked the security question that was really stressing us at the lecture room. So we wanted to know how they asked those questions to the customer. But unfortunately for us, we could not experience that. So from that area, we moved to another area where you can scan your boarding pass. There is a barcode on your boarding pass where you can scan on the machine and then you enter immigration okay you cannot scan it twice because you cannot use you cannot do that twice so when you scan it once you just go and then yeah so that is for security reasons and it's called i valid or i something please if you know if you're an aviation student here please let me know in the comment section below because i'm sorry i'm sorry i know i'm supposed to be educating you guys but yes so from there, we went to the immigration section. There were two people who came to, you know, talk to us. I've forgotten their name as well. And we were not allowed to vlog because of security reasons. I really liked that area because they really demonstrated, you know, they really demonstrated how a, a passenger come to them and the questions they ask. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that here, but, you know, I'm going to cut it short. So from there, we went to where we are supposed to remove our shoes and put our bags and phones on the belt. There was a belt there. And then we walked through a machine. And then if you have anything on you, it's going to detect. OK. And even afterwards, they will still search you before you go and take your shoes and your bag. So we were there. I couldn't vlog there as well because of security reasons and then we had to wait for others and we moved to the boarding gate at the airport we have the land side and we have the air side so the land side is where the passengers are and the counters the restaurants but the air side is where the planes are the taxiway uh, if you don't know much about aviation let me put it that way couldn't actually go to the air side and that is what uh, i was like you know, we are aviation students, you're supposed to go to every area. Okay, but we did not. We were just standing at the boarding gate. We didn't have any demonstration because nobody was there, even at the gate where we went. And there was no passengers and stuff like that. So we just stood at, um, the, there was a big window. So we just stood there to look at the air side and watch what was happening. There was no plane as well. 
so we're just there and we're looking at it so later we had a break so those who wanted to use the washroom did so while we waited for people to come from the washroom we there sat at where the boarding gate was and we were told that they had three launches that is the aquaba launch the decra launch and the sambra priority launch and those are for the business class priority and you know so, but you can pay as well use the launch so if you don't have that cash auntie brother please go and sit somewhere and sip a cup of water and mind your business <laughs> sorry for the shade but yeah that is it and i was very disappointed because they didn't actually show us the lounges we were told the lounges and I, I was like what is the main purpose of me being at the airport just to sit down and tell us this this but not showing us not demonstrating to us <sighs> after telling us these lounges we made our way through the boarding gate bridge or the jetway bridge or the sky bridge and we were shown how the passage or the bridge was to have a feel of how it feels like passing through and you know going to board your plane but actually there was no plane we just passed through it and then we came we entered the arrival area over so there we stood there and we were asked of what transit and transfer was and we had to answer and then after that we took the escalator down we saw the transit and transfer passengers and we were just shown we didn't actually get close to it i understand because there were passengers there and they had to do what they had to do so we didn't go to that area from there we went to the arrival hall we saw the casserole where you pick your bag from and then you make your way to customs and so there we stood there for some time we were asked some questions and you know your girl or answer a question applauded so from there we passed through the accra duty free you know items and then we went to a customer service we didn't really spend much time there because they just told that that if you need help you just go to the customer service when you arrive and from there we went to the customs and they told us the role they play at the airport and after that we just moved out we took some pictures and yeah i went home so what I would like to say I loved about was where we went to the immigration and it was well demonstrated to us how it was done. That was the only thing that I really liked about this whole tour. And what I didn't like about this tour was even if you watch my previous intro of my, my video, you, you will know that I was saying that as an aviation student, you know, they are going to let us go to a certain place where passengers will not be able to enter okay but unfortunately for us we just went through like a passenger and i didn't really like that because there were certain things i really wanted to you know see and be well informed but unfortunately for us maybe i don't know if for security reasons or anything we could not go to such areas and so that was what I really actually didn't like about the tour. But if you are new, if you are new to the airport, I'm sure you're going to love it. And yeah, because I have been there before, so I've been through that process. But I really also love the tour, no doubt about that. Just that I feel that we could have done extra. But anyways, there are reasons for everything and why they did that. And maybe because of security reasons. So yeah, unfortunately, I had to walk to Terminal 2 pay and then take my car actually i could have parked at terminal three that was what was paining me that was what was paining me but anyways if you like videos like this let me know in my comment section that you love it okay and if you think that this video is going to help someone a friend a brother a sister or if anyone is inspired go to the aviation school please share and yeah i'll see you in my next one bye love you